4468 Brindisi Street in San Diego. Gonna go ahead and do a quick inspection here. And uh, I've been around the home looking at this piece of uh, kind of crown molding on the exterior and it, it appears to be in great condition. Um, haven't found any rotten spots, which is awesome because it would be nearly impossible to replace a little section. We got a 200 amp center fed, or excuse me, bottom fed electrical panel. That's great, uh, perfect, it's already set up for solar. So that saves you a couple grand right there. Um, we got some intake vents here and there around the eaves, not a whole lot of them, but I spotted one down here. That allows cool air up into the attic space and then those uh, O'Hagan vents that we were talking about, the big vent right here. It's painted over and so I'm not sure how well it's working, but let's go ahead and jump up on the roof, take a look at what we see up there. New roof will get a little piece of trim right there. It's called the uh, drip edge that goes between the uh, roofing material and that uh, crown molding. Very, very badly worn wood shake roof, original with the home, as far as I can tell. And uh, you'll immediately start to see a whole bunch of what we call tin shingles, and tin shingles are these pieces of metal. We use them for several different, uh, several different things on roofing projects, but this is, one way to repair an old shot out wood shake roof is slide those up in there like that. So we see those all over the roof where the wood shakes have disintegrated and just completely fallen away. You just uh, slide that little piece of metal in there. Those are one of the things that have quadrupled in price uh, for, for roofing material. So I think we pay a buck for every one of those things now as opposed to 25 cents, what they were like a year or two ago. So we might even save those. Uh, chimney looks to be in pretty good shape. Could have been grouted a little bit better, but um, I'm not sweating it. We'll be able to waterproof around the base really, really well. So you won't have any more of that sunshine coming through or water. Um, not a whole lot of, uh, not a whole lot of surprises up here. Definitely not enough exhaust ventilation. What are there, two dormer vents on this whole house? We'll probably put in eight O'Hagan vents um, around this house to make sure we've got it properly ventilated. Again, heat's not a major issue down here at the beach, but we want this thing ventilated properly. Uh, amazing how mo most of the ridge caps are still intact, uh, but where they're not intact, it's really scary. And Quite frankly, amazing that it's not leaking really bad. There you go. I wonder what that goes to. That's a huge vent. I wonder if that's water heater. Anyways, uh, yeah, nice new riser there. No concerns there. We'll get that properly waterproofed. And um, as far as solar goes, what are we gonna go? We're gonna go west. And we're gonna go south. Um, and oh, we got that big old roof plane over there as well. 